Alrighty guys, so we've got the body weight squat. Uh, the way to do this is firstly we're gonna start with the feet. Position your feet just outside of shoulder width and your toes slightly splayed outwards. This will give your hips the ability to move in that way as well. And so your knees can follow your toes, okay? The second thing is we're gonna keep our chest nice and high and have a gentle curve in the spine. So you can see how my spine has just a nice gentle curve in it. It's not overly pronounced, okay? But it's also definitely not hunched like this. We wanna make sure that as we're squatting, we're not hunching our back. We wanna keep it nice and straight, okay? So that's the spine. You can put your hands across your chest like this and put them in a prayer position, okay? Then you're going to keep your chest high and then sink right down. With a body weight squat, I want you to try and get as deep as you can and back up, okay? For depth, when you are squatting that deep, it requires a lot of ankle flexion, what's called dorsiflexion, okay? Sometimes if you don't have the ability to bend your ankle that much, okay, you might not have the mobility in the ankle, then what you can do is use a wedge, which is simply just an angled piece. This is a piece of rubber, but you can use anything. You can use plates, block of wood, anything to just elevate your heels. What that does is artificially improve your ankle mobility so that you can sink deeper into a squat and maintain more of an upright torso because that's what we really want. I want to make sure that you guys aren't squatting and taking your torso right over. And make sure that you're squatting and sitting nice and upright with a straight back, okay? So if you need to, we can pop onto the wedge, keep your chest nice and high, sink down right, ass to grass, all the way down. 